Uh, it's a big pleasure to see so many people here. So welcome everybody to this uh, special energy days on the topic of metal fuels. I think you can't miss that from the slide. So today I want to tell you about how we can take metal fuels in the form of a powder and we can burn them in a flame or a fireball really. And we can harness the power of that fireball and produce useful power for ourselves without any carbon dioxide emissions because we're burning a metal. And because we can close that fuel cycle with clean energy without any carbon emissions, we can have a power system that's completely carbon free. And then those metals provide that high storage density that we can use to transport over long distances, trading the excess clean renewable energy that we can make in Canada and sell it to countries like maybe the Netherlands or the UK. Look, Elon Musk has already got it figured out and we're gonna use the Tesla, the power wall or the Tesla car and the problem is solved. This is already being implemented in the Tesla car. But the energy density of battery is very, very low, 1 50th of that of these fossil fuels. And that means they're a terrible way to transport large amounts of energy over long distances because you're shipping a lot of dead weight in that battery. So the real problem is how do we use these metal fuels and, and generate energy off of them? And that's what I really want to spend the time talking about today. We burn those metals just like we burn them on the Bunsen burner in our lab, producing heat. We collect the metal oxides for recycling. We use that heat to drive some type of external combustion heat engine, like a Stirling engine or a steam engine, and produce power. And in fact, the fuel, the metal fuel, is really the fuel that's inside of the battery. So it's take the fuel out of the battery. That's the idea that we have here. The title of my presentation is Sponge Iron as a Possible Future Energy Carrier. Jeff convinced everybody that metals can be best candidates for clean energy storage and transportation, but if you uh, have to choose among the metals, the iron looks uh, one of the most attractive candidates. But to make all these technologies work, and we uh, need a fundamental knowledge, knowledge which is still very limited. At the end, I would like to try to form, perform a small experiment. So I'm from the group of chemical reactor engineering and this is our core business, looking what is the need in the future if we go from an oil-based economy to a renewable energy and bio-based economy. How will we produce the chemicals that we need so badly? So the vision is that we have at the back of a truck production 10 kilotons per year in one cubic meter. So this is an enormous reduction in size. It should be a sort of a jukebox, so that you have different unit operations, you select a certain process, you get a collection of these units that will produce a project. This is a nice movie by Floet, who is uh, commercializing this technology. They uh, already have a lot of successful business cases for clients. And here we see the idea that this huge column can actually be replaced by this very small Equipment. Um, thank you very much, uh, all speakers, for this discussion. There you go.